And this, this one is special because I actually found two of these at a garage sale for $1 each. And I'm going to show you my solds at the end of the video. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. All right, so I'm in my laundry room listing. This may look, this scenery may look familiar. If you watch me over on my reseller testing Bolo products channel, when I do my live shows and I list with you guys, well, I have a Bolo category video for you guys. Items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. And, and I'm super excited about it. So let's get started here. I'm going to show you some different things to look for. And these are baby and toddler dresses. Yes, they can be a big money bolo. So we're just going to dig right in here. Let me get my screen share up. And we are going to start with the first item. And first thing I want you to notice is how this is laid out. It is in a full circle. If you find one of these dresses and it is a full circle dress like this, this should be your main photo, in my opinion. Um, here it is, just looking at it straight on. It looks so much more fancy this way. And you also want to include full circle in your title, okay? Now, there are different brands, but wait until you see mine. Mine had no brand. All right, so let's talk about this one. This one sold for $202.50. And full circle penny, piney, P-I-N-N-Y. I'm not sure what that means, um, but it has this lace detail on it. Uh, again, if you guys ever sell anything like this, they are vintage. You do want to disclose if there are any defects or problem areas. Take photos of them. Like right there is, I can't tell if that's a little stain on the front or not. It says very good shape, no issue. So it may just be the lighting. Uh, this is a size 3T. All right, let's go on to the next one. The next one, they did not do the full circle photo. But, oh, wait, I'm sorry. Yes, they did. They did it on the second photo. Personally, I would have had this be my first photo. If you look at this one and you look at this one, which one do you guys like better? Do you like the hanging one or the one like this? Let me know down in the comments. I am curious because that is just a personal opinion. But you can see they've got all of the, the photos here. And the brand of this one is Mini World. And again, you can see ruffled full circle dress all great items to put in the keywords to put in the title. This is size 2T. The next item is this vintage 1950s toddler dress. Now this is not a full circle. Did I tell you what that last one sold for? It went, um, the pink one, the mini world went for $152.50 on auction. All right, so this is the 50s dress. This one sold for $385 on auction with 28 bids. Um, again, not full circle, just a really old dress. Let me see here. I'm not sure, but it could be flocked. Um, flocked is where it's got the little bit, it's a little bit raised and kind of fuzzy and flocked material. If you can find just flocked material in general, that is definitely a bolo. Uh, let's see. Beautiful pattern, stain free. Sash um, does not say. So I'm just going by the photos here. Let's look at the bid history on this one. I like to go in and do that from time to time. Um, 10 unique bidders. So that tells me that there were 10 different people interested in this item. And you can see from the feedback, nobody has super high feedback, but it's not one or zero. And it does not say that the item was relisted. So that is always a good sign as well. All right, this one is so cute. 1950s blue sheer chiffon circle dress. And again, I, I think that one may be flocked as well. So if it is flocked, definitely put that in your title. I can't tell if it's flocked or embroidered. 
Let's see if we can get it. That sure looks flock to me. Uh, pageant is another thing that a lot of people will put in their titles. This one, I'm not sure if it's actually a full circle dress or not. It's hard to say um, by the photos. And yeah, so this one sold for $230.50. Again, no mention of uh, brand in the title. Uh, it just says brand is party look. So I don't know what that means. But anyway, beautiful dress. Looks great on the mannequin. I suppose if you have a mannequin that's child size like this, definitely use it because it shows the detail of the dress lovely. This one here is a Lilo. Let's see if we can get a tag. Right there it is. It is a vintage blue pageant uh, size two toddler girl polka dot. And it's got some lace, some ruffles. I don't know if this one, you can see here, they're pointing out the issues. Can't tell if this one is a full circle or not. Looks like it could be. So uh, full circle in the title and actually displaying it as a full circle may have gotten them more. This one sold for $202.50. $202 All right. This one is a vintage baby girls, Daisy Kingdom factory spring Easter dress. Hard to find, rare, and you can see here they've got the measurements, super cute item. I was trying to see if, yep, okay. So this is actually from Daisy Kingdom, like made by Daisy Kingdom. And um, you can see here it's got the tags. This one sold for $199.99 with only one bid, but Daisy Kingdom fabric is very, very collectible. And we'll talk about that more here in a little bit. The next item is this uh, Swiss dot party dress with um, it's a 4T and you can see here the little dots that's called Swiss dot. Definitely put that in your title if it has that. This one is by Jill Lynn. That is the brand. They did not even put the brand in the title. They felt as if the keywords that they used vintage baby girls dress 4T Easter peach ruffles lace Swiss dot party doll style. $110.50 plus shipping on that one. All right, this one is a vintage Martha's Miniatures. Uh, another good brand to be on the lookout for. Um, I have a tendency to see that brand often. Now, I'm going to show you also towards the end that not all of these dresses are created equal. So I'm sorry, they don't have a tag on that. This one's a black and white polka dot. Um, this is not Swiss dot. This is just polka dot. And that one sold for $232.50 on auction. And it says there is one button missing, so even damaged. This next item, again, great picture, full circle. It just catches your eye. This one is Betty Odin. Let me see if I can get you a tag. It's got the cute little ruffles. I'm surprised that there it is. There it is. Okay. And this one is um, a size three. This one sold for $245 uh, plus shipping. Now, if you look right here, actually, I lied. Okay. So sometimes what I will do is I will actually go in to the feedback. So um, I went in and I clicked on 560. And now that I'm in their feedback, you can type in Betty and it should pull up the listing, um, the feedback for that item. But this one was already at the top, so I didn't have to type it in. It was listed at 245, but they took a best offer of 200. So we know that they paid and the best offer was to, for 200. I did not know that on the feedback, it actually sold tells the actual sold price. So that's pretty cool. I wish eBay would put that right here for us. Here's another one. This is a vintage toddler girl Martha's miniatures. Again, this one sold for $99.95. Again, you've got the full circle dress. Super, super cute. Red. Excellent vintage condition. All right. Wait until you guys see mine. Hang tight. I'm super excited to show you. This one is a vintage 50s. I, I'm guessing that's 1950s. 
nylon sheer rockabilly party embroidered toddler girl dress. Um, you can see here, it's got the embroidered um, pattern on it. Super, super cute. I don't see unbranded. And this is from that same person. You can see down here, they've got the same description. $107.50 on that one. So even unbranded does well. The next item is this vintage toddler girl nylon party circle dress, daddy's girl of white sheer dress. So again, just really, really beautiful and detailed. And they show here with their hand behind it to show it's sheer. These are all little tricks and tips you can do for the listing. And actually, I should have done that for mine. So we'll talk about mine. You guys can point out any mistakes I made because I don't do a lot of clothing anymore. And honestly, when I picked these up, I didn't know that they were as big of a bolo as they were. I knew vintage toddler dresses were a big bolo, but I didn't know if mine fit into that bolo category. So stay tuned. We'll talk more about that. All right. Vintage handmade paper dolls, Daisy Kingdom fabric toddler dress. So this one is handmade and this is the paper dolls pattern. Now, something really cool about this. This one sold for $132.50. And this is just something that somebody has handmade. Are you ready? So in my recent video, I talked about top five fabrics to be on the lookout for. It's right here. And it sold for how much? And you can see the one I'm featuring is this exact pattern. So that pattern is a big money bolo. That is one of the top five Daisy Kingdom. You'll have to watch the video to see the other four. All right, here's another one. Vintage Toddler, another Martha's Miniatures Ruffle Party Dress Size 4 sold for $141.50 on auction. Here is a um, picture of the tag. It says, we're fussy. Super, super cute, made in the USA. Very, very cute. The next item here are two dresses and nylon sheer. Two great words to put in the title if it applies. These two dresses sold for $182.50 plus shipping. These are from the 1950s. As far as dating items, I have no idea. I did not date mine. Um, if anybody has any tips for that, please let me know. Um, my aunt had these dresses for her dolls. My mother said that the doll clothing costs more than baby clothing in the 1950s. So her mother used to buy baby clothes for the dolls. Both of these dresses are honeysuckle brand. Okay. So they're honeysuckle brand made by Sears and Roebuck size one, no rips, tears. So that's a cute little, uh, story. Um, okay, cute. Let's go on to the next one. And we are almost ready to see my two big money bolos, but I want to show you that not all Vintage toddler full circle dresses are a big money bolo. Now, these dresses right here that say full circle, this one, they should have done the, the picture. Like I told you, it just, it just pops more. And never, ever, ever start your auctions out low on these. Start them at what you hope to get. Um, I'm guessing these dresses would have went for a lot more if, um, especially like this one if the auction would not have been started as low or if they would have done a buy it now. So that is my tip for that. I'm gonna keep kind of scrolling here and you can see some of them, they're going up in price. And right here, this one right here is me, Bolo with Olo, $219.50. So I'm gonna take you over here full screen. Um, is that the right one? Yes. All right, so I used vintage sheer toddler baby dress, full circle, frilly flowers, unbranded. So they are embroidered. That probably would have been a good keyword to put in my title. I probably should have put my hand behind it to show that it was sheer. This black bow, I probably should have just taken it off because that was not a very um, pretty piece. And if you look right here, it's just safety pinned on. I showed that in the photo. I did a close up. Well, my hands behind it there. So that kind of shows it, but I should have done it behind the peach. And it even has an imperfection right at the back on the tie. So I show that up close. And then I also detailed that in the description. Uh, armpit to armpit, 
or I'm sorry, that's the waist armpit to armpit and the full length measurement is how I do it. But again, that stunning full circle picture, I do use photo room to white out my background, which I really think makes it pop, but I also show it on a hanger. So really cute item. I should have pulled, I should have fixed the sleeve. I'm just now noticing that. So that does not look very good. Huh. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so you, you go back and you look at your listings and you see all your mistakes. So $219.50 plus shipping. I got this at a garage sale for $1. The other one I sold is this vintage sheer Swiss dot dress lace trim girls youth. This had no size. Oh, back to this one. Unbranded, no size. Unbranded, no size. This is a a longer dress. I don't know what age this would be. If this would be like nine or 10 or seven, I have no clue. But again, it's got the Swiss dot as seen right here. So, and I showed that it's sheer. And this one, I started at $49.99 and it only got bid up to 42 or to $52 plus shipping. So could I have gotten more for this one? Maybe. Should I have done a buy it now? I don't know. What do you guys think in the comments about this one? That is my listing. Okay, Bola Buddies. I'm going to give you a little update on the dress. This is the cute little dress that I picked up at a garage sale. And as you can see, it is sheer. Super, super cute. And it is a big money bolo. However, before I posted this video, I wanted to make sure that the buyer paid. And guess what? The buyer did not pay. Um, so what is it, five? I think five days went by and I went ahead and um, canceled the transaction because after five days, you just go in and you click um, unpaid close case and you don't get a penalty for closing the case because the buyer didn't pay. I did send a second chance offer. So I think the first offer was 219. The second chance offer went out for 217. They did not respond. So I relisted it at, I want to say, I had a 30% off sale. I think I relisted it at 300. And I got an offer right away from the person that I sent the 217 offer to. And I declined it because I knew that they were willing to pay 217. So they were lowballing me. And I was like, nope, not gonna take it. So then they didn't accept my counter offer. So I just waited and I got another offer for $150 and I declined it. And then they sent me a message and they're like 150. And I'm like, will you do 175? And they're like 150. And they sent me 150 again. And I was like, okay, I don't think, I don't think they're going to do any more than 150. This was a totally different buyer. And I will tell you, um, all of the offers were coming from Oregon. And I think there's a company in Oregon that maybe ships to China. So for some reason, maybe these dresses are really hot right now and trending in China. I'm not 100% sure. But I do believe that this is um, when they messaged me on Messenger, it said, not on Messenger, on eBay messages, it said China. But the shipping address is Oregon. And when I first listed the dress, I want to say I got between seven and 10 offers right away. And all of them said Oregon because I was like, that is so weird. Um, but that's the only thing I can conclude from that. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. But anyway, 150 bucks. I'm like, messaged one of my friends. I'm like, should I take it or should I counter or should I just wait it out? And she's like, just take it. And I'm like, I mean, what? I paid a dollar for it. So I took the $150 offer. Was $219 way better? Yes. But is $150 still fantastic? Yes. So the dress is getting shipped out right now. They paid $150 plus uh, tax and shipping. I don't know what the all-in price is, but I'm shipping it right now. So that is your update. Still a big money bolo, not as big as I had hoped, but um, as you'll see throughout the other video, it was kind of selling at that auction on the high side. I don't even know why it went so crazy. It's got damage, it's, I mean, it's beautiful, and I guess it's probably pretty rare, 
but it's not perfect. So, all right, let's get back to the video. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think. Have you ever sold any of these dresses? I have on my Bola Buddies merch. If you guys are interested in getting a Bola Buddies sweatshirt or a t-shirt or a tank top, and I've got um, Bola with Olo the Owl also, uh, a link down in the description to my merch if anyone is interested. If not, no worries, no pressure to buy a shirt. Just letting you know, if you are interested, they are down, it's linked down below. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out that fabric video. Some of those are crazy. I recently did a video on vintage tins to be on the lookout for. That one was a little surprising. So um, my channel is all about bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items that you as resellers can hopefully pick up low and sell for a nice profit. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.